Hello everyone, welcome back to Spectrum Classes. So in this video, I am going to show you the lab activity related to the calibration of conductivity cell and conductivity bridge. Because in this case, both conductivity cell and conductivity bridge has to be calibrated. So this video is fragmented into three different sections. One is preparation of solutions. In the second part, we are going to see the lab activity related to the calibration of the conductivity bridge and in the last segment we are seeing the calculation so let's start with the lab activity for the preparation of solutions of kcl so here is the lab activity and first of all we are going to prepare kcl solution for that we are going to weigh potassium chloride and the weight of this potassium chloride we have calculated through the molarity or normality equation here in this case molarity and normality both are same because potassium is having plus one valency and for this we have weighed 0 0.759 grams because the molecular weight of potassium chloride is 74.55 grams and i transfer it in 100 ml measuring flask and now I am going to make up this up to 100 ml after dissolving it thoroughly. So here we are having the solution of 0.1 molar KCL solution. Here you can see so this is now I am going to transfer it in the reagent bottle which is already marked with 0.1 molar KCL solution. So before adding the whole solution, I'll just going to rinse the bottle and now I'm going to transfer it into the reagent bottle. So I'll take 10 ml of this 0.1 molar KCL solution again in the measuring flask just to dilute it up to 100 ml, 10 ml to 100 ml, right? So I'm just, you can see the equation also. So in this manner, we have diluted it up to 10% so 0.1 molar to we get 0 0.01 molar solution here you can see this so you can also check it with the calculation displayed over the screen so first I am going to rinse it again the next reagent bottle and transfer the 0 0.01 molar solution in the reagent bottle so the second solution is ready now i'm going to prepare 0 0.2 molar so i'll take 0 0.1 molar solution 20 ml and dilute it up to 100 ml so 10 ml of this i have transferred already in this measuring glass and 10 ml again if you have 20 ml then that would be better because in that case chances of errors are less i make up it up to 100 ml and now i am going to transfer it again in the reagent bottle again i'll go i'm going to rinse it after mixing thoroughly and now i'm going to transfer it into the reagent bottle So I have prepared three different solutions for three different ranges and here you can see these are the solutions which we have prepared for the calibration of conductivity bridge. Here is the conductivity bridge and here you can see the solutions which we have prepared for calibration and uh, here is the conductivity cell which is dipped into the beaker, this blue one, right? So this is the conductivity cell and here is the conductivity bridge and it is having three different modes one is conductance temperature cell constant so which is active temperature is active because the uh, picture is because the light is blinking over there and here is the temperature 21.3 degree centigrade for today and here is the atc which you can see atc means automatic temperature controller here is the mode through which you can change the mode of the calibration mode of the conductivity bridge so cell constant which is given one 
and now conductance conductance is given in two different values one is micro siemens and the other one is milli siemens so the reading here is shown in the micro siemens because it is blinking it is not in milli siemens right so this is how one can understand the features of this so before calibration you just off your atc so that you will get better results because many of the times atc is not working properly or not calibrated properly so if you are doing your research works then you should switch it off first and then work on the accurate temperature or room temperature so now i transferred the solution into the beaker and now we are going to measure the conductivity of this solution so this is the conductance mode and here you can see the reading is in milli siemens so the reading is increasing and it is now showing 10.96 and it is still increasing so let's wait for its stability stabilization so it is 11.77 after stabilization and this is the reading for the solution of 0.1 molar solution at 19.6 21.2 degree centigrade so here you can see i am just going to transfer it further into the reagent bottle these uh, solutions can be kept for one month at least right uh, and you need to calibrate your cal uh, conductivity meter regularly so that your result will be accurate and now i am going to wash it thoroughly the cell conductivity cell and the temperature probe the next one you are seeing is the temperature probe which measures the temperature of the solution if you are not having that then you can use thermometer instead now we are going to transfer the 0.02 molar solution into the beaker but before transferring the whole solution i am just going to rinse it first so now the question comes why we are going to rinse it because in the earlier solution we are having more concentration so here we just dilute that and now i transfer the whole solution into the beaker and now i am going to dip the conductivity cell as well as the temperature probe into the solution and this is important while you are measuring the conductance the cell will be at the center it should not be near the walls of the beaker because that can affect right so here we are just going to wait the stabilization of the reading and here we are just going to see that the reading for this solution of 0.02 is 2.88 milli siemens here you can see the milli siemens uh, led is blinking now i am just going to remove this solution and i am going to transfer it further into the reagent bottle and uh, as i told you earlier this reagent bottle can be used for one month and uh, after transferring it now i am going to wash the beaker first and uh, because the next solution which we are going to measure is 0.01 so i first wash it with the water and here we are having the next solution which is 0.01 molar solution of kcl and i am going to transfer it but before transferring i am just going to rinse it first and after rinsing then i will transfer the whole solution into the beaker to determine the conductivity and as i told you earlier the solution for calibration of the conductivity bridge can be taken any of the one because if you know the range of your solutions that i discussed in my previous video and i will give at the end of this video also the ranges so only that solution is sufficient because that if we take average of all three readings then that will make an error to this right so the reading for this solution 0.01 is right now it is 1.66 milli siemens we will wait for its settlement and the last reading is 1.5 564 milli siemens for 0.01 molar solution for my solution right maybe you have some different readings the temperature at this moment is 21.23 degree centigrade and the solution is 0.01 molar now after recording these values i'm just going to transfer it into the 
reagent bottle further and now we are going to wash it further so in this manner we are now how to calibrate and how to calculate the cell constant because calibration means we are measuring the cell constant so now i am going to show you the calculation part now i am just going to show you there are two different type of calibrations one is single point calibration and the other one is multi point calibration so i have done multi point calibration and this multi point calibration means i have used three different solutions one is 0.1 molar one is 0.01 molar and the other one is 0.02 molar not this right so if i calibrate my conductivity bridge and the cell with this solution then this will be calibrated for this much of range if my solutions are in this range then this is sufficient if i am having my solutions in this range then i have to calibrate my conductivity bridge as well as my conductivity cell with this solution 0.1 molar solution so this is in milli siemens range this is in micro siemens range right so i have covered these this range 0 to 20 milli siemens therefore i have prepared three different solutions 0 0.1 molar 0 0.02 molar and then 0 0.01 molar solution so that 0 0.02 and 0 0.01 molar is falls in this category whereas 0 0.1 shows this category right so whichever it be the range of your solutions if you know then you must go with that particular solution we cannot use all three solutions for a given range right so suppose if you are not having atc means automatic temperature controller in your instrument then what can be what can be done so here we are having different temperatures and for a given solution we are having different conductivity specific conductivity value so I am going to plot a graph between temperature and specific conductivity and then by passing the trend line through the points then I can get the values in between the temperature. So similarly I can get the temperature value at 21.2 what will be the specific conductivity of this given KCL solution. So this is one, another way right or, or we are having ATC which is perfectly calibrated. So there are two ways. Now we are coming to the calculation part. Since I am having 20 degree centigrade and 25 degree centigrade. Just for the comparison as I am having ATC and I am just going to show you how ATC works. And here the room, room temperature is 21.2 degree centigrade. So before that I am just going to grab your attention over here. This is the unit micro siemens per centimeter right which is mentioned at 20 degree centigrade and 25 degree centigrade these are the readings which i have reported at room temperature from my instrument so these are milli siemens only why not per centimeters so this is a very very important point which you need to remember so for this point i am just going to elaborate all these so here uh, specific conductance is equal to conductance into cell constant this we have already discussed in my previous video and now again i am going to discuss with you so according to the ohm's law so this one upon r is equal to g g means conductance c means right now if we are having this kappa right conductance into cell constant what is the cell constant cell constant is l upon e so here if we relate both of these then the cell constant will be equal to l upon a right so this is the cell constant and cell the unit of the cell constant is centimeter inverse as length is in centimeters and area is in centimeter squares or we are having the unit in centimeter inverse so your conductance which you are observing from the instrument is in milli siemens and if you remember on the instrument also we are having only milli siemens not milli siemens per centimeter so here we are going to calculate the cell constant for the given solution so here 0 0.1 molar solution we are having these two values right and i get this value if suppose i am comparing it with this 
20 degree centigrade since the temperature is 21.2 and as I think of my ATC is not working properly so I get this value at this moment and therefore if I divide this divided by this then I get here I have see, shown you this so millisiemens per centimeter this is the specific conductance and here is the observed conductance and if we are going to divide these two we are getting almost one cell constant so here is the reason why we are not using all three solutions for the calibration point of view since if we are doing the calculation for 0.02 molar solution then this will be the value of cell constant and if I take the average and put the cell constant then that will be wrong and if you are having different solutions different value of cell constant then you need to change into your instrument as I have shown you in my lab activity that the cell constant which is inverted over there 1.00 right so in this way you can change your cell constant that is how we are going to do the calibration of the conductivity cell as well as conductivity bridge and we do the single point calibration we are not taking the average of the cell constants this is all about the conductivity bridge and its calibration i hope you understand the concept and you like this if you like this please give me a thumbs up like share and subscribe thank you all thanks for watching